Shodi Ka. Welcome to World of Peace with me, Amy Katidam. We are now in the month of June. That means that we are halfway done with the year 2014. And ever since the beginning of the year, many Dhammakaya centers all over the world has organized many activities for many people and foreigners to come together to do good deeds and also to learn and practice meditation. These activities include inviting the venerable monks to the local schools or colleges or even businesses to teach meditation or simply just Galayanamit open houses where the lay devotees would open their houses and invite the venerable monks from the local Dhammakaya centers to come and teach meditation and also to perform other good deeds. So as for this week, let's go see what type of activities was organized by some of the Dhammakaya centers worldwide. On Saturday, May 10, 2014, the Venerable Monks from Wapatamakai, Seattle, went to be meritorious leaders at Galyadamit Mitmani Tawi Shai's house. In the late morning, everyone chanted the holy verse together, followed by the abbot of Wapatamakai, Seattle, Most Venerable Plaku Pawana Witeid, leading everyone in meditation. After meditation, everyone pledged the verse to ask for the five precepts and pledged the verse to offer midday meals to the venerable monks. Before lunch, everyone offered alms to the venerable monks together. There were over 60 Laos people that came to be a part of this morning's activities. On Sunday, May 25, 2014, at Wapatamakai, Vancouver, Canada, the morning consisted of the venerable monk leading everyone in chanting and meditation. Then everyone pledged the verse to ask for the five precepts and offered midday meals to the venerable monks, where the main representative was Galimit Lashani Erkins. Then the morning ended with an alms offering ceremony. In the afternoon, the venerable monk led everyone in meditation, followed by a robe offering ceremony, where Galimit Lashani Erkins was the main representative. Lastly, everyone received blessings from the venerable monks, did evening chanting, then took a group photo together before going home. On Sunday, May 25, 2014, there was a ceremony to celebrate the 24th year anniversary of Wapatamakai, Tokyo, Japan. In the morning, the lay devotees did morning chanting together, followed by offering midday meals to the venerable monks and an alms offering ceremony. The main representatives to lead everyone in pledging were Galimit Janya Kuwabala, Galimit Mani Pon Lang Sanam, and Galimit Jantila Nomoto. After the pledging, everyone meditated together, then the venerable monks chanted the holy verse. There was also a procession of the crystal ball and also a robe offering ceremony that took place that day. Everyone got to offer donations together to end the morning. In the afternoon, the venerable monks chanted 108 rounds of a verse as a way to pay homage to the Lord Buddha. Afterwards, the venerable monks gave a tamat sermon to the lay devotees as a form of moral support for them to keep accumulating merit. On Sunday, May 25, 2014, the venerable monks from Wapatamakai, Switzerland, went to be meritorious leaders in Solothurn, Switzerland. In the late morning, Galenmit Sopit and Galenmit Roland German were the representatives to light the candles and joysticks. Then everyone paid homage to the triple gem and meditated. Afterwards, the venerable monks chanted the holy verse. Then Galenmit Patuma Chaprung Saton led everyone in pledging the verse to offer basic necessities to the venerable monks. And Galimit Sophit German led everyone in pledging the verse to offer midday meals to the venerable monks. Lastly, the venerable monk gave a short Tama sermon and then gave blessings. Everyone got to take a group photo together before going home. On Tuesday, May 27, 2014, Wapatamakai, Switzerland organized the seventh middle way introductory session for locals to come together to meditate. They have been organizing this continuously, so there are many locals, both old and new, who are interested in coming and learning about meditation. Most Venerable Plaku Pawana Wiliakit was the teaching monk, and Galyamit Somsa Dila was the translator. 
The evening started with the teaching monk reviewing what he taught them in the last session and also gave a tamat sermon about examples of meditation practices depending on the individual and other small talks about tamat. Then everyone got to meditate together where the meditation experiences got better each time. And those are just some activities that took place in the past week that was organized by some of the Dhammakaya centers worldwide. And now it's time for the quote of the week by Prateb Yamahamuni, Rompal Tamashayo, who is the abbot of Wapatamakai and the president of the Dhammakaya Foundation from the book Pearls of Inner Wisdom. Bliss. True happiness lies at the center of our body, at the seventh base of the Dhammakaya. From here gushes forth all our happiness because this is its source. Anyone who wishes to attain bliss in this life needs to cultivate stillness of the mind every day. Practicing constantly, our concentration will improve, little by little, until eventually we'll touch upon the bliss inside, making all our efforts worthwhile. This was said on August 28, 1988. And like I said, since we're already in the month of June, that means that next month is the start of the ordination program for the 100,000 monks from villages all over Thailand for the Buddhist Lent season for the year 2014. So those of you who know of any real men, please invite them to come and ordain in this program, which will be starting next month in July 2014. And that's all we have time for today, and I will see you again next week. Sawadee